Sherlock Fan number one here. So today we will be doing a face cam video. And today we are going to be talking about Ubers. Now I'm sure everybody knows what an Uber is, whether they've experienced it on their own or we've heard from somebody else how it is. Most Uber rides I've had have been rather easy and pleasant, but there are some fun and random stories I do have. Number one thing I've learned about Uber is how to get a five-star rating if you don't talk to me. There's nothing better than an Uber driver who doesn't force you to make conversation. Now granted, a lot of them don't really make you converse if you don't want to, but at the same time, I have had awkward small talk that just goes on forever and ever. So as much as I'm a social person, I also like my personal space and my, you know, being able to just relax and look at my phone while I'm riding in the car. But I do feel kind of rude when I do that because, believe it or not, you're in somebody else's car. So I feel like I have to, an obligation to them, make a conversation. And I've done this in the past where I will just sit there and I'll be like, oh, how did you get into Uber? And how long have you been doing Uber? And so there's other times when it's like I can tell they don't want to talk and I'm not talking and they're not talking. And it's like, okay, so are we fine with not talking? And so it kind of has a back and forth with me. but. Usually I'll just sit on my phone, thank them for the ride, and then it's over and I don't have to worry about it. So I actually prefer when they don't talk to me. I don't know if other people are different, but I prefer an Uber if they're going to talk then we do a little bit of small talk and then we don't talk the rest of the ride. Now one of them is a really irrational thought because I know that they don't care and I know that they're not remembering, but it's always in the back of my head. You know when you get dropped off or picked up at your house and like they don't know it's your house but you know it's your house and you, you know, ask them to take you somewhere from there? I feel like it's really awkward if I don't, at the end of that trip, tip them very well and rate them five stars. Now I know that if there was like a situation where it was dangerous driving or illegal driving, of course I wouldn't rate them five stars. Rational fear of if I do not tip them well or review them well when they do know where I live, that they will come to my house and murder me. Granted, I know that's not going to happen. I know that that's unlikely because they don't pay attention to where they're going. I mean, they do in a sense that they have to drive there, but they don't care what happens after or during or anything like that. They just kind of want to get you from your location to the other location get paid. Another thing that I really appreciate in my number three spot is names that I can pronounce. Now this sounds very, very wrong when I say this, but no hate on anybody who has a really elaborate pronounced name or a really long name or hard to, um, hard to spell name, anything like that. I understand that. I cannot express to you the amount of relief I get when it's a name I can pronounce because granted, I know that people have long names and I know that people don't have most control over their names. And I feel terrible to say that it bothers me when someone has a long name. Now, the only reason it bothers me is because I can't pronounce it and I don't want to try because then I embarrass myself trying really hard to pronounce this name and then if I get it wrong, we're awkwardly sitting in the car. I've had Uber drivers that have a name as simple as Michael and then other ones that have like 13 syllables. And one time I actually got in an Uber, I didn't know how to pronounce their name, but I definitely checked the license because it's something you always, always, always want to do check the license plate and confirm their name. That's my two rules. And this guy, I could not for the life of me pronounce their name. And so I basically did like a really botched job of saying it. And it was just kind of awkward the whole time we drove because I feel like he didn't care, but I also might've just said his name completely wrong and made him self-conscious about it. I don't know, this could literally just be a video of my irrational thoughts and fears while with Ubers. I mean, huh. Anyway, I hope that this video was funny or entertaining in any way. I'm so sorry I stumble so much in this video. It's my very first face cam, not to mention my off script. I wrote a script for this, but I did not go so in depth. I kind of wanted to have myself have some free hand at what I was doing. And thank you so much for watching. Thank you for the support. Thank you to my frequent watchers and stay awesome guys. Bye.